Now, the family of late Dr. Hela Liman wants former President Rawlings to apologize for the coup that ousted Ghana's third Republican president. According to a family member, Kuro Kuri Buki Liman, the former head of state did nothing wrong and yet was tagged, corrupt and overthrown. Dr. Hela Liman was ousted in a coup led by Flight Lieutenant Rawlings in 1981. According to the family, the late leader did nothing wrong. Look at what Rollins did to him. At that time, he didn't damage anybody. He didn't kill, murder, or uh, punish anybody unnecessarily. The family is still bitter about the treatment meted out to their kinsman. According to them, the people of Ghana had democratically elected a leader, but his detractors brought him down. He took it not through the guns, but through the vote in 79, when he became the, the president I was. And they said he stole money, he was corrupt and inaccountable. They are demanding an apology from Rollins. When he died, look at Rollins, since he wanted to give him state burial. That's why we refused. I was one of those people. I'm the uh, 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 junior brother. I refused that offer of uh, burying him. We asked him, you unlawfully overthrew him. What did you get from him? What did you find wrong with him? You haven't apologized. The family said the late Liman never stole anything belonging to the state, and his hometown in Golu is ample evidence that the former Ghanaian leader was not corrupt. Fortunately, too, none of his ministers of state, his political appointees, his DCEs or ambassadors, was found wanting after his unlawful overthrow. Up to date, none, not even a single person, much less he himself. He had nothing. Dr. Liman was buried in Golu after he died in 1983.